<laughs> oh, Megan, you know, where to start? Um, it, it seems like just yesterday we were running around chasing each other at the skating rink, you know, just bugging you around, you know, and trying to follow you, trying to get your attention. And it's crazy to think that when I finally build up the courage to ask you out, that I truly found my person. I really do believe that God puts people in each other's paths for a reason. And I am forever grateful that he put you in mine. We've only been together for 10 short years, but I knew you were the one for me at a young age. I know it's such a crazy thing to grasp being in love that early in life, but one example that always sticks out to me is when you were deciding to join the military after high school, and of course, I didn't want you to. Um, but you told me you were doing it for the future us, and you're always thinking of us together. You have seen me at my best, you have seen me at my worst, but yet you have always been by my side supporting me. I promise to give you that unwavering support and comfort as not only your husband, but your best friend. I promise to always be honest and respectful because you deserve that and more. I will always cherish you and love you unconditionally for as long as I shall live. You've had so many names throughout the years. My boyfriend, my best friend, my college and high school sweetheart, my fiance, and now my husband today. I love you so much, Srinava, and I can't wait to start forever. P.S. Thank you for making sure I always see the next day. Sometimes I write you letters Cause I hate the way I look when I cry, but I cry every time we talk Cause nobody knows me better And I want you for the rest of my life <laughs> you look so pretty. <laughs> you feeling good? Yeah. Huh? I love you. Tinky Dinky, as she was nicknamed back when she was just a toddler. She's always been special. She's caring. She's talented. She has a huge heart. And she is has an awesome sense of humor. And don't ever lose that sense of humor, Megan. From a day that a daughter is born, a dad always wonders, who the heck is our daughter gonna marry? You know, you always want what is best for your kids. And as a dad, a daughter is special. Chewie is great, he's caring, he's loving, he's genuine. He gives of himself constantly, and he truly cares about other people. And the absolute best thing is, he's married to our daughter. God, we're grateful for this day that we can join Megan and Chewie along with their friends and family, to witness the miracle of their marriage. I ask that your spirit is upon them today and your peace fills their minds as joy fills their hearts. Do you, Chewy, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in matrimony, to love her and comfort her, to honor and keep her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, Megan, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony, to love him and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward, as long as you both shall live. I do. It's not every day that you see a love story as sweet and enduring as theirs. They've been together through thick and thin, and I have no doubt that they'll continue to stand by each other's side through all the adventures life has in store for them. These two have stuck by each other's sides in the middle, in middle and high school, Chewy going off to the military, all the long distance phone calls and texts, college, buying a home together, and now they get to experience going into adulthood together. Behind every high school sweetheart couple is two kids who grew up and learned how to love together, and with lots of love and patience and forgiveness, are finally living out the future they have always talked about. With this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge to you my love. And pledge to you my love. Now and forever. Now and forever. 
with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. Now and forever. Now and forever. By the power vested in me, by the church and the state of Illinois, I pronounce you husband and wife. Chewy, you may kiss your bride. And I See the future clearly Stay up late night talks And all our dreams together Cause we Know we have the rest of our lives Next I would like to talk about my older brother Chewy. Chewy's always been the perfect role model. He's smart, kind, funny, humble. And growing up, he's always set a bar high for me and my siblings. He's always been a good student, got good grades in school, was a very good athlete. And I, however, I was not that. So <laughs> clearly those genes didn't get me. So I can't think of a better person for my brother to spend the rest of his life with. Thank you for always being there for him, for loving him, caring for him, supporting him, being patient with him. You make him a better person. And I'm so glad to officially have you as part of our family. So this girl's friendship has brought so much love and happiness into my life, and I truly can't imagine it without her. Megan, you have saved me in ways that I never told you. If it wasn't for your friendship throughout high school, I can't imagine the person I would be today. You wonder when I knew the first time I laid eyes on you, just ask me. Thank you, Megan, for filling up his heart with so much love and positivity. Uh, you've been really good to him, and thank you for choosing to walk alongside him every day. Thank you for choosing to love him every day, and thank you for all the positive reinforcement that you provide for him when we're not around. You guys are perfect for each other, and I'm so proud tonight of what you guys have both accomplished in life. Uh, I pray that you guys continue to grow together and learn to forgive each other whenever times get tough. And I finally know